guys it is your boy so here bringing the top three designs of the week week number seven so of course i'm gonna keep it nice and short um pretty much just don't forget to subscribe okay that's for one and then don't forget to leave a like uh also don't forget to please submit for week number eight which will be on the top of the description and then don't forget uh, to follow this week's spotlight winner which will also be in the top of the description so please also understand that if you did submit last week i'm not kidding when i i know i say this kind of a lot but i'm not kidding if you guys submitted last week please 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 submit again it was one of those weeks where i had like 30 people like that i had to pick from like like that i really really wanted on the series and all of a sudden i had to pick three so you know it's one of those things like I, i'm really i'm freaking this week is definitely like one of the best of course however just please if like i said if you submitted last week please just submit again and if you thought you were gonna make it you most likely will just keep grinding for it keep submitting and i promise you, you most likely will end up on the series if you believe that you could or should be on the series you'll most likely make it so yeah uh don't forget to like i said leave a like and uh leave a comment who you thought were that was the best and like who you probably would like put where or whatever it's just like a little fun thing and also don't forget to like maybe like critique maybe like number one number two number three so i'd be like and eh, number three was like and eh, you could do this better it's little the little things right like you guys always do anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later so switch you out peace all right, guys, top of the designs of the week. Week number seven, number three spot goes to the 2D designer known as Deject. Jack, the Jack. You can see it. I just, what's up? Yo, these names, bro, they just get harder and harder every single freaking week. Anyway, he's 16 years old, and he sent in a really cool Sword Chief uh, 2D uh, Twitter header design. So as you can see, this dude's color scheme is, like, like super, like, how do you, like, I, like pretty? Like, just, like, super, how do you say it? All right, it's super, like like doesn't make sense but also looks super good like I, like for me i don't know how the hell i would mix orange red and like green together it just doesn't really make much sense however like you know you see you get my point like if you look at his portfolio he has these beautiful color schemes and his color correction and his like his texture choices are very very mature they're very very beautiful right it's a very sporadic abstract style yes but even the fonts themselves like without the fonts choices that he does it's a very very difficult i guess style to perform and actually you know execute as well as he does it so it's an absolutely beautiful design straight up like i was very very much impressed like i said his portfolio just had all these colors all these different like these fonts and just like i just love the fact that you know you change it up a lot i struggle with changing up with fonts like as you guys know like i probably use the same font for like the past like two months but you know this dude's font choices are really really freaking dope and um yeah like i like you can just see like all the little things like on the actual uh, submission itself, <clears throat> yeah, it had just like just like these little simple little fun like it almost looked like like uh like you just like painted something. I don't know where you would like I don't know where you would pinpoint like where the style or what the style is, but it's a beautiful abstract, super colorful, super eye catching style. And uh, overall, like the one thing I really really like about it and how he just does it is just like his links, like he, all these little fun sponsors and links aren't just like in a straight line. Um, and he just has them like sporadically placed. However, not so spread, uh, not so sporadic where it's like super hard to concentrate on the actual banner itself. So freaking props to you, bro. Hello, congrats. And please go ahead and follow him. Twitter.com slash sore D J A K, uh, deject, deject. I hope I'm saying it somewhat right. So I don't look like an idiot. So, uh, yeah, let's get on to the next one. All right, guys, top of the designs of the week, week number seven, number two spot goes to the 2D designer known as Wolf18. Like, that's it. By the way, that's a freaking name I can deal with, okay? Like, deject that, you know, whatever the hell's got. Bro, Wolf. That's perfect. Like, someone go ahead and, like, be his, like, co designer and be like, meow. Okay, that would be perfect, I swear. Anyway, um, straight up, this dude, like, he sent in a really cool Triumph uh, Twitter header design and, like, this was like super freaking pretty, right? I guess it was for the Trials 1, I guess, Obey Recruitment Challenge that they had like last month uh, for like the full month little recruitment challenge thing. And he sent in this really cool, like, I, it was, I believe it was neon themed, but I see a little like retro theme going on here with I, the beautiful, the flooring, by the way, is really, really nice. Like these really cool little grid lines, uh, I guess horizontal grid lines to like, you know, give a flooring. And then his like foreground, or excuse me, his background has like these little cool mountains. Uh, that kind of like has like creases of like, I don't know what filter it is. It might be like oil paint, but I love the way it's used. And I love the actual fact that the actual uh, logo itself is like 3D and it has a really nice little arc to it. Everything just really, really flows very, very well. And you have this really cool little, this added, I, I guess it would be like a sunset, like a sun in the background. But it looks so good because it was just like, it's just randomly, I've not randomly added, however, but it just really works. I love the fact that you kind of split it in like little pieces to kind of give it like more of like an abstract, like, I guess a flow kind of theme. And it looks so good. And also, I'm not the biggest fan of like flares, but the fact that there's a flare here, I think it actually tops it all off very, very, very well. I feel like I can like see these, that little like line that's starts on the top uh, the bottom left and like flows to the middle to the right hand side to back to the left hand side i just feel like that's where like 
I feel like, you know, your eyes just follow it along. If I'm trying to be, like, super, super, like, critique but I, I, that's what I feel like. critique What the hell? Um, that's just how I feel when I look at it. It's super freaking beautiful, and this portfolio is just, like, all around, like, uh, it's very, very picky. It has really picky stuff in this portfolio, which is beautiful. I love the fact that people don't, like, you know, throw everything in there. They're very, very picky about the portfolio, and his just has, like, very... A, a variety of different designs. It's very, very beautiful, and it's very clean. That's something I can notice from him uh, and his like uh, color schemes, by the way, are very, very clean. And this dude's straight up beast. Very well deserved number two spot. And uh, please go follow him, youtube.com slash, or not follow him, but subscribe to him, youtube.com slash wolfs. Uh, he has all the speed arts, and you probably saw the speed art as well as me talking. So uh, yeah, freaking beast, and uh, let's get on to number one. All right, guys, top three designs of the week, week number seven, number one spot, okay, goes to the 3D modeler known as Triumph. Kind of weird that we had, like, one guy, like, do a header for Triumph, and then, like, you know, it's whatever. It's just cool. The Bro, like, dude, like, okay, if you guys don't understand what I mean by 3D modeling, uh, he uses, I guess, programs known as uh, Cinema 4D, of course, we all know, and then Octane Render to actually render out his beautiful freaking pieces. Now, as you can see here, you have the uh, Razor Epic Naga with, like, I guess, what is it, the Razor Firefly? and then like the black chrome in the background and the razor heads in the background all fully modeled my like my, uh, <coughs> god he's so bad i mean i'm kidding um <clears throat> this dude bro i don't understand like why why do you like dude like i can't make 3d tutorials anymore because this is like this exists and the fact that you can do stuff like this like do you guys actually see like the detail like the glows and the numbers all that stuff is like material choices the bevel and like the mouse itself is all modeled and you guys probably saw the speed art and stuff like this is real stuff this is real cool like come on man like why and like he can just do like any any product you know what i mean it's just super beautiful his portfolio is like just like why you know that's why I, like that's why i look at it i just go why and i just close it out and then i go back into it and like Eh, you know, I'm gonna close it out again. It's just one of those things where you just don't believe it. It's just really freaking beautiful. Octane render, uh, V-Ray, all those really dope V-Ray, uh, excuse me, rendering programs in Simple 4D. They're so damn beautiful. And the fact, if we just mix that with like being, like knowing how to model, that's like beautiful advertisement design because you can get like cleanest, like product, you can get like the cleanest look to anything you want. You can put it in any scenario. It's one hell of a skill to be a uh, 3D model designer. And uh, bro, like if you do like little like, like motion designs with these bro, oh my god i can just imagine okay so this dude is well deserved number one spot uh straight up guys thank you guys so much for the submissions again yet again another week where i had like 30 people that i had to choose from and i had to pick three of them like no like no bullshit guys it's getting really difficult i'm not kidding i think we hit like 87 submissions so let's go ahead and freaking like smash the like button share the video get top three series just like i know the series is absolutely like amazing right now so i just want to let you guys know don't forget to go ahead and submit for week number eight i believe we're on and uh yeah please go ahead and follow triumph uh twitter.com slash triumph arts with an s at the end of it he's 17 years old he's like ridiculous and i don't understand him but yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and please, like I said once again, please submit, you have nothing to lose at all, okay? Literally, it's all but gains, okay? And like, once again, I think we hit like, what is it, like 6,600 subscribers already? Like, what the, bro, like 60,000, not 6,000, you know what I meant to say. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, talk to you guys later, HQ out, and peace.